A group of cadets from Warsash Maritime Academy are currently on life raft, secured to two boys in the River Hamble, and will be there for 24 hours in total. Why? This is Life Raft 2 calling all of the Life Rafts, mayday, mayday. We've had a two litre bottle of water left open and we need a sponge ASAP. I'm doing this um, challenge in memory of my grandfather. He passed when I was young, but obviously I knew the kind of turmoil it gave my parents and my family. This is uh, Bear Henry Allen, who um, is in memory of Henry Dillon Allen. At the age of two, he was uh, diagnosed with neuroblastoma. Unfortunately, for two years, um, he battled through cancer and unfortunately lost when he was only four years old. This, uh, this bear is in memory of him to uh, go with me on my travels around the world. It would be good fun for him, in memory of him. I recently lost my grandfather to cancer. It's, it's a really difficult time. It would have been really great to kind of have something just to take our mind off of it whilst he was going through it. So the 24 hour challenge, we're going to be sitting in a life raft. Uh, I'll be with seven other people in an eight man life raft, so it's going to be quite packed. It could be very hard, cramped conditions. It's going to be really cold. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's everything that we dread, really. Definitely different. Feeling a bit seasick. Putting up with people. <laughs> Doing anything for an extended period of time can be quite difficult. I'm looking forward to the challenge. Should be fun. Awesome, mate. Yeah. We're just getting kitted up and then we've got a briefing and then we should be getting in the life raft for about five o'clock, I think. There'll be 38 cadets doing the challenge. We're going to notice the waves a lot more than we would in a, a boat that's got a hard bottom. We will be chucked around, I would say, a little bit. It should be good fun. 24 hours to go. Joining me now is Amanda Reese, the deck officer at the Cadets. Thanks very much indeed for coming on the programme. Good evening. Hello there. You're sounding remarkably cheerful. What's it like? It's actually OK, yeah. It's surprisingly flat and surprisingly warm. 24 hours means going through the night. How are you going to cope with that? I think we'll probably try and stay as warm as we can. We've got lots of layers on. We have lots of snacks, lots of water. It's meant to get down to three or four degrees. I just read the weather forecast. It's going to get cold. And I think it's going to be quite windy as well. So I think we'll struggle later on. Well, listen, you lot, stay safe, which is the most important important thing and good luck yeah thank you good night bye, bye. oh rather than than me it's quite rough out there um i looked at the forecast earlier and it looks like it's going to rain overnight won't be getting any sleep <laughs> <laughs> No, I think it is. I oh, think wait, it's just... wait, guys, the bunk's out the air thing. Yeah, that's fine. About four o'clock in the morning, I was sat in about four inches of water. I was totally soaked. My feet were soaked. I couldn't feel my feet anymore. And I got off to go to the toilet, and it was sort of, I don't want to get back on the raft here. To which nobody helped. Nobody helped. Oh, it wasn't the best night's sleep I've ever had. It was pretty wet. Oh, ours was the only raft that had puddles of water. Life rafts, this is Whiskey Mike Alpha. Over. Yeah, go ahead. You've now raised 11 and a half thousand pounds. Over. Can we have some music to accompany our backgammon game, please? Roger, music coming back on. It was really horrible when the wind started getting up. About halfway through the night, the zip on our canopy door, it just flew open. The main challenge was uh, trying to stay warm and dry, but that didn't happen. It was constantly, constantly wet and it was so cold out there. When I saw that people were fundraising for self for cancer, I looked into it, saw what they had to offer, and I thought it was a great idea. I mean, it would have helped me a lot at the time. I lost my mum a year ago. I didn't realise that there were any charities like this. It wasn't something I'd thought about. For me to give back uh, and then help someone else that's going through the same position that I've gone through, I'm sure that my mother who passed away would be uh, proud of that. I did this to enable other people that have suffered with cancer to get away for a few days. 
I'd like to dedicate uh, the 24 hour life I've challenge to my dad. My grandfather. My grandfather and a friend. My grandfather. Henry Dillon Allen. Doing this in memory of my mother, Josephine Jones. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>